What's up guys, the guy Rossery here, and welcome back to Let's Play Chronicles of a Dark Lord Episode 1, Tides of Fate. Remember when I did this Let's Play back in... T uh, I don't even remember when I last did this Let's Play. But as you can see, I had just beaten the game. Uh, I did show off the Apollyon fight and the... The, um, what is it? The creator room area. And, uh, I also did show off, uh, me getting the lazy sword and the lazy mail for, and I had it, I have it equipped on Ma Magus or Magus, however you want to pronounce him. So, I've actually gone back and fight Apollyon again, and I cannot, he, he's, I think they made him... Uh, a little more powerful than when I actually had did this game a few years ago. Anyways, what we're going to do here is we're going to do the bonus content that the original version did not have, which is called Nightmare Vision. So, if you remember back in the village of Fae, or the realm of Fae, there's this strange looking building that has the, uh, Kasarath, um, uh, symbol, I believe that that's actually the symbol to the Chronicles of a Dark Lord icon, uh, just flipped around. So, actually, let me go ahead and heal first, and I will meet you guys in front of this door. Alright, guys, I'm now fully healed. Now, as you can tell by the sprites, the, the sprites that you see on your screen, on the screen right now, are the battle sprites and they kept the they kept the overworld sprites the same it, it the overworld sprites are no longer the same as the battle sprites from from a few years ago when this game came out so anyways let's go ahead and tackle on this bonus dungeon the the stuff so yes anyways let's go ahead and read this uh, there is a slot that looks like it was made for a special key and some sort of ornate headdress. Do you wish to attempt to open it? So, the key to nothingness, I believe that's what it is. And the wait, hold on. Uh, I want to see what items those were. Uh, so, okay, so the the Inferni diadem, which is the headdress. Um, I have the key to nothing, which is the uh, the developer's room so there's that uh, and the key to the abyss so that would be the key to unlocking this door after inserting the key to the abyss and the inferno diadem they begin to glow obviously it had something to do with the dungeon so and we are in some kind of house There's a warm bed. You feel very tired. You wish to rest here. Perhaps another time. Let's actually look around. Is it a crack right here? Huh. It's very quiet in here. Oh, well, I guess we have no choice but to go to sleep. He vents his dark passion onto his foes. I wonder. Okay, so here's the exclusive area. If you guys are playing the older version of this game, I believe you can still access this part of the game, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I I've been waiting so long to do this part of the dungeon because I had to replay the game again. So, yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead and continue. Eto Kallius, I don't know how you've transported here, me here, but it will prove to be a grave error. I am not the one you speak of, Dark Lord. You merely see that which you detest the most. Explain yourself. Oops. You are dreaming, but this is an ordinary dream. Intriguing. Go on. You have faced many trials, Dark Lord. 
be here in this nightmare, you face one like no other. You face yourself. I already have. There was one who called himself Arbinger. That was different. You faced a possibility. You faced what you may have become had you chosen another path. So here I am to face myself as I am now. Precisely. But not all at once, to be quite honest. You would never survive such an encounter. Here you will face aspects of yourself in turn. You said I see that which I most despise. You catch on fast. Let me ask you a question. If I were if I really were the one called Antichalius, would you have attacked me? Without hesitation. Your anger is useful, it fuels your passion and drive, but it must be tempered by reason. You're not alone. You had taken taken on this Antichalius by yourself. You are alone had you take uh you surely have you would surely have died. How do you know that? I don't. You're the one who knows. I see. Because you're a part of me, you know only what I know. Correct. Your anger would force you to attack, but you already know the attack would fail. Discretion. After all, is the better part of valor. You are brave, Dark Lord, but you are not a fool. My challenge is a simple one. Destroy your enemies. As you said earlier, I cannot destroy my enemies alone. Quite. Though you are alone, you may call forth avatars of your comrades to aid you in battle. They appear as you know them, and you may use three of them. Just know that, though you face this nightmare alone, in reality, you are not. And must never be. Let us begin, then. Okay, so... I'm really liking this soundtrack. The guys behind the studio did a very nice job on the soundtrack. Focus your rage, Dark Lord. Break death to your enemies. Okay, so now the final boss music is now the battle theme for this theme for this uh, DLC. That's pretty cool. Hopefully I can get uh, Isis to be at a higher level, because she is so underleveled right now, compared to everyone else. But like, every time I walk, it's like, there's like so many random encounters. Quick and scroll, good. We could use those. Okay, so here's the here's the new boss theme. Here you get your guest, your geist, and your demon. And you are a demon. When I heard this for the first time, I thought it was really fucking awesome. This is such a really great battle theme. Okay, so out of stuff. Okay. These guys are no pushovers. Stagnant. My dirty went down. Food. No embers. No embers. Alright, not so much. Alright, let's see. Dragonic Annihilation. I always love this game. This game's pretty awesome. Alright, let's see who's almost dead. Okay. Let me use Onslaught. Since this move seems to be the best out of all the moves that they just had. In my opinion, that is. Because it attacks like four to six times. So it caps out at that damage, so six times whatever you have, or whatever the amount of, um, 
HP is taken away from the end of the onslaught, and that would be the maximum, which is really awesome. As you can see, your guy is almost dead anyway, so it's one onslaught and it's down. Just does nothing. Rampant bites. Oh. Hopefully, I can find something that negates like all status elements, so I can equip it on all of my characters. Some pretty decent experience for those bosses. Trinian, a Trinian potion, Estrian potion. See, I wish there was a, I wish there was also an item for Isis that doubles the experience for every time she, uh, um, for whenever she levels up. Cause there's already an item for Magus. I can give him the Dragonic armor, and it'll still be the same thing as the Lazy Male uh, and the um. And stuff like that but there's not an item at least to my knowledge there's not an item that's like that so as for Zeria I could put this back on because I don't need any, I don't need the chaos armor anymore let's go ahead and heal up This theme reminds me of a certain diff a certain kind of game. I can't really remember what game it is though. It just sounds awesome. His greatest defeat lies not in the battlefield, but in the aftermath. Uh, hey, I. Who's this? Reyna. Think on it, mages. Of what relation is the Queen of Golden Horn to you? None. She's not of my kin. Do you only relate to your kin? I call her an ally then. But not more? No. Our past preclude friendship. We come together out of necessity considering we have been at war in the past. The cause of that war is the key to understanding this aspect of yourself, Mages. It was merely a territorial dispute. Come on, Mages, you cannot lie to yourself. Not here, at least. Would you? Would a mere territorial dispute have led to such a bitter, protracted war? Well, if one must defend their land, who was defending Mages, and who was attacking? I'll admit, I was the aggressor, and I was still so much like... Like who? Like any of this. I wanted what others had. You coveted the Rim Kingdom. So you represent my greed. Exactly. Well, I am no longer that man. That is the man who would grow to become the likes of Armager, not myself. Avarice is a part of all people, mages. Can any of us excise a part of ourselves and discard it as trash? Go on. Wanting things natural, mages. It sounds so you're a part of me. Are you saying I should forgive myself for past? For past transgressions. No, you must make up for overstepping boundaries. How? You have a debt, a debt of war. However, this can be paid in two ways. I assume one is literally, yes, and other the other form of payment is suffering. Intriguing. Beyond me is a field of flowers. Each step within them will bring you misfortune. However, you may clear the flowers. How? By paying your war debt. Stern coins? Exactly. This is foolishness. What makes you say that? This is but a dream. What meaning does money have? <laughs> Obviously, it is symbolic, mages. As you know, this is an ordinary dream. You can die here. So make your choice. Pay your debts or suffer for your misdeeds. Speak to me again if you desire to pay your debt. Okay. Uh, but first things first, let's go ahead and heal up. Go ahead and save our game, actually. Let's see. Whoops. Oh, 
Okay. That actually does hurt. Uh, you want to pay your debt very well. It will. Here's what it will cost you. Purple flowers. Purple flowers are not negated. Wait, how much money do I have? Ah, shit. So purple flowers and green flowers are what I can. Money. What just happened? Ultra elixirs found. What does that do? Like, what does the red do? I have no idea what the red does. Um, I mean, I can sit here and take this damage, actually, and kill it up. I'm not sure if I actually just want to do that, though. Red too. Wait. I have no idea what the red does. In all honesty. So either way, hold up. Okay. I know I'm making this look really bad, but Phoenix Tears. It's funny how Isa is still lived after all of that. I just gotta get across there. <laughs> okay. So <Still> again. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I, I'm sorry if I'm just being quiet. I, I actually love this game. It is really good. Alright, so. Is there another boss? What do you call it? A corn bloom? Alright, uh, you're probably weak to fire. But I'm still not going to even try it because all of Mages' spells um, that pertain to like elemental spells are are weak so his flam burst his arcane thunder and breath of ice are weak um the only saving grace for for mages actually it would be his dark embrace electric hell and onslaught those would be the only moves for mages that will do it really no, that's not what I want to do. Let's do Purple Slash. Oh, not weak to fire. I figured you'd be weak to fire. Because this is a, a, a plant based monster. How much that does. It doesn't do a lot. 
hopefully you guys can hear me. Should be sounding all right. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see what Glory of Chaos does. Okay, Infernal Slash does the most. So Infernal Slash does more damage. Toxic Pollen. So it's only Magus and Isis are protected by status elements. Don't dodge my moves, please. My attack went down for Jelena. Oh my god. So even if I defend... What? So even if I defend, that still does damage? Cause it's, oh, okay. I guess I get it because it's poison damage, but... I mean, but why? Alright, let's heal up. Detox, Isis. It... Detox, uh, Zeria, my bad. I keep wanting to call her Isis for some reason. All men fear, even those who are feared. What am I doing here at the shop? Uh, I can still burn the bear, though. Oh, I can't burn the bear anymore. You cannot annihilate your fear so easily, Dark Lord. What? What am I doing in school? You stand accused, Dark Lord, of nurturing your true fears. What to say you? Guilty, guilty. Order in the court. Has he accused any thing to say in his own defense? Uh, what matter of mockery is this? Guilty, guilty. Order, order. Explain your bizarre crimes, Dark Lord. I refuse to take part in this farce. If I am to face a battle, let it be so. Put an enemy beyond my sword, but do not insult me with this mockery of justice. Guilty, he's guilty. He fears us. Silence, may, may just dragon Lee. Explain to your, explain to the court why you destroy every teddy bear you see, and will not. Who is your fear so great that you must vent it in? such an inoffensive manner. I do not fear you. Liar, he lies. Order, I demand order. You need not explain anyway. I know the odd wound to which you still pick at. We are all a part of you. Have you forgotten? Your fear confronts you and you can run, and run, you cannot. Dude, this Oh my god, you may deny what you fear to the outside world for as long as you'd like, but there is none here but you. How much longer will you live this lie you have told yourself? This is absurd. This is as absurd as you have made it. What you are guilty of is not fearing us, but making us uh, to face your own true fear. Then what is to be done? Kill him. Feed him to Teddy. Perhaps there is something to that. You may not be willing to face your true fear, but if that is the path you have chosen, then so be it. Let us become something worth fearing. Ah, uh, perhaps if you survive, we may quit you fully one day. A giant teddy bear, really? Theodore Rex Pinay. Okay. This may be a long episode, I apologize. Okay, that does nothing. Put Magi Bless on Isis so that she can heal. I just I just discovered that too. Like if you if you increase like anyone's magic attack and their healing, it'll increase the amount of health being uh, cured. Just 
is awesome, actually. Okay. What just happened? Oh. So agility. Agility attacking defense is up. I mean, you're almost dead anyway, so. Oh, your defense is down, but your agility and your attack went up. Okay. That, I was trying to figure that out. Still does not the amount of damage I want, though. I mean, you're dead anyway, so. Everyone leveled up. Quick and scroll on the Colossus Orb. That was weird. I wanted to. Guess I'll save the game. Uh, I'll start this part like later though. Um. Anyways, uh, I'll go end the episode now. Um, in the next bonus episode of Let's Play Chronicles of a Dark Lord, episode one, Tides of Fate, we'll go ahead and continue on with Magus' Nightmare. So with that being said, the guy Ross who is signing out. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and do what you gotta do to get your game on. See you later.